Hi everyone, I'm Sandrine, this is the mayor. Hello. Let's talk about Teen Wolf season six, episode 17, Wolves of London. London? Okay, don't. <laughs> first things first, we're back. Yes. It's been a while since we've actually been a minute. reviewed together. It's been a minute. This show. Yes, and I'm glad we came back for this episode. Yes. Because it was God, a really good episode. So much better than last so, week. So, I want to talk about the aftermath of the shooting. Mm hmm. First of all, we found out who did the shooting, and I couldn't figure out who. What's his name? Do you know his name? The kid, the guy who was like with Nolan all the yeah, time. Yeah, I yeah, just, I just call him I, the bully. I don't understand why he did it though. Don't, so from what I was it. getting, Nolan was in trouble with the counselor, right? Oh, he, tomorrow. So Mon yeah. Tomorrow, Monroe. So Monroe was like not really feeling. Uh, Nolan not really feeling him being a part of the team at least like stepping up to the plate so in order to placate her and just basically make it seem like Nolan was you know really willing to go as far as they needed him to go so he pretended like yeah. Nolan shot up the place exactly Got it. Yeah. Okay. I did not understand this. I was it was, like, it, was, so it, was it was convoluted. Okay. It was like, right. really? Well, that's fine. <laughs> but what we got from it is like, Melissa is, you know, in the hospital and she's telling, she's telling Scott, fight, you know, yeah. don't run, just fight. His dad was His also dad hurt. Was there, but like, now Brought we're somewhere else. off of the show. They're yeah. like, okay, enough of the guest starring thing. We've seen you, now you can go. Lydia, of course, was affected. And I think Mason yeah. was affected. But we didn't see him, right? Yeah, but they said, oh, he's he's recovering. Oh, okay. Yeah. They're like, let's not have Mason in this episode. Yeah. He's recovering. He's recovering. I was just going to say, I, I thought the whole like, okay, you know, they literally shot up your house, they shot your dad, they shot your friends, they shot your mom. They shot everyone except you and, and then Malia. And, and, and hmm, you know, I know where I'm jumping ahead here. And then now Scott is like, yeah, let's go get help. <laughs> like, really? Well, he, I mean, it does, he does need help. What do you want him to do? Like, he, he's not going to You know what? Everybody keeps telling him what he needs to do. He just won't accept. His problem right now, his problem, immediate problem is not double face. Double face is like the big is like the big issue. He needs to deal with the symptom of that no, bigger issue. No, the problem is no. The the only issue he has is double face because if double face is out of the picture, you, people can be reasoned with a little more. I keep I keep thinking that Gerard is only a symptom of the problem, not the problem. Yes, he's using the fact that this is happening to kind of rally everybody and then everybody's kind of crazy. Anyway, we'll talk about that, but we, I think we see that later. I do want to move on really quickly to the sheriff scene which I was like I did not okay I didn't I didn't get it I was like wait well you got it well no no I didn't but I didn't understand why they suddenly turned on him is it again because of the double face which by the way I thought he was devil face <laughs> he's double face I feel like devil face also works Anukite uh, is also not, not a, it's yeah. not a bad name but here's my thing <sighs> it was silly like the whole like now nah, we're all with her who's she we don't know. We're just with her. Made well, no see, see, I, I think for me is the problem is that I feel we haven't really established exactly the effect. The effect of Anukite, like how, why suddenly they follow her specifically. Yeah. You know, like I just I, I get why the don't fear. they follow Gerard? Leah, yeah, no, I, I get the fear. the fear, but like I just don't understand why it's her who's so important. Like I'm like you haven't really established why it's so special about her. Yeah. Like, she's just this new character. I'm like at least if it was Gerard. I'd be like, okay, we know Gerard. He obviously has been doing this for a long time. Mm -hmm. He's established. Of course, he's going to be able to like, yeah. you know, sway people into... Like, I understand why she follows him. I don't understand why people follow her. Yeah, it was so, so. ridiculous. Honestly, it made no sense. It was just not really well explained. It's not well explained. It wasn't well explained. Just... It was not the sort of the development that would have made sense. What I did like in this episode oh. quite a bit are all the returning characters we got. And more specifically, yes. Ethan and Jackson, who were like literally the best part of this episode. Yes. Like the opening when oh. she's talking on the phone. Frick, yes. And then, you know, they yep. bring in Jackson. I was like, this is so good. Like yeah. I got so excited. I mean, they're definitely cool characters. Oh, yeah. I think they're even better than I remember. I mean, Jackson was always like really cool as a character. Mm -hmm. He's always a bit of a douche, but but like you know, he liked him. So to establish but, this, when Jackson left, they didn't establish that he was uh, gay. Bi. bi. 
Oh, oh, he's bi? He's bi. Well, yeah, because that's true. He they they did establish it in that this episode right. that he was bi. Yeah. I like the way they did it because yeah. that was kind of subtle. But you have to pay attention because he walks in, he sees the girl's like, hey. He sees the boy's like, hey. hey. I was like, that. I well, like yeah, because he was dating Lydia at the time. So yeah, yeah. I like I like that they established that. That's, that was pretty cool. Yeah. And I like their relationship. Yeah. It's pretty. Uh, no, I, yeah. they were the best part. Yeah. And I love how they're a light, lying detector together. Yeah. Like Jackson talks and then the other guy well he's doing that he distracts you um even is like listening to your heart to figure out if there's any impact in terms of what you do we didn't establish how they went from meeting monroe to being sort of like tied up tied up and just okay i, I mean they're two big guys Look, she's not that here's, strong here's, and here's, I, I it was bothering me yeah but i have an explanation okay i think that it's a trick they, they essentially got caught on purpose. You think? I think they already met up with Scott. Oh. Uh, that's my theory. I'm thinking they're like, you need to go undercover and make it seem as if you're looking for us. But how get did caught they, did so that they get can, them? They, they probably got, oh my God, why'd you got us? Oh, that kind of thing. But they knew they were going to oh, get caught. You think? I think... I think this is really? how it's going to go down. I hope so. I think this is how it's going to go down. If it doesn't go down that way, I'm going to be upset. I'm just saying. I'm just saying that. I uh, Because you know what? They did seem a little bit too... Oh. Hey. Yeah. Hey, hey. Mm, you caught us. They didn't seem too worried. And then we had uh, Deucalion. Again, another character I really loved. And I like that they made him like a nice character, but he's still kind of awesome. You know what? You know who he reminds me of? He reminds me of David Carradine's character in the old TV show Kung Fu. You've never watched it, did you? I've did never you? heard of it. So basically, he's this just master at um, uh, martial arts, really, really good, and he's sort of like adopted his violent ways, and he's just using his you know, martial arts for mm. good, right? So not to fight people, not to hurt people. So he's always like getting into confrontations, but he doesn't ever hurt anyone doesn't beat them up and i like the fact that in this particular scene they kind of like did an homage to that particular moment where he's like you're attacking he's just moving your head and just pushing you i know and you're like oh well, yeah well, poor Milia, she's like i oh, will okay fine <laughs> it's like i don't know how to do pagwan or whatever the heck that so i thought that was really really cool yeah great introduction and addition to the mix so yeah yeah, that was nice. I mean, unfortunately, he's not going to stick around, but I like how they found a Isn't way. Isn't he, though? Isn't he? No. He's yeah. really, well. Look, I'm going to spoil you guys. He's coming back. Like, 100% coming back. How is he coming back? You want me to tell you? No, don't say. Okay. But he's coming back. No, don't say. I don't want to know more. I don't remember, so I'd like to be surprised. And then, I love how he's like, you have to lower your standards. And then lowering the standards is like, Peter! Peter! Oh, <laughs> Peter was awesome. Yeah. yeah, I mean, such a good... Peter man. gets better can every I just time say, you see can him. We, can we, before we talk about Peter, can we just say, this is what the episode really, like, really just hit home for me. And I was like, man, this is awesome. Because they're bringing all these awesome characters, yeah, yeah. one after the yeah, other, yeah, in yeah, such yeah. a cool way. Awesome, yeah. But Peter was, like, the best, yeah. right? Because he was, like, his usual brash self... <laughs> You know, setting them He's up like, in I that mean, corridor. You don't, you don't need to flatter me. You're gonna have to do a lot more than that. It's like, hey, here, here's a, here's a magazine. All right, shoot. I loved it. That was awesome. Yeah, which I, I actually don't understand why he like why. Okay, literally, the guy's in a cell. Mm -hmm. There are holes in the glass. Mm -hmm. You could literally put the gun in the hole and shoot out at them and look, I didn't get look, why he, look, but is look, he just crazy look. like I just look, don't understand look, that scene look. what was going on it was still on? a cool scene just it was a cool scene stop nitpicking just... Sandri <laughs> you're telling me like you're the worst <laughs> nitpicker I let it go because it was a cool scene yeah, no I, I let it scene. go because see for me the reason why the guy shot like that is because it just proves how they it makes you crazy yeah. Anukite makes you crazy yeah, basically... So I was like, see, that's what I'm saying. He yeah. makes people crazy, which then would explain why suddenly they just kind of follow and yeah. be weird people and all and of that. I, but Yeah, and I like the fact that basically Peter was like, I'm not going to help you until uh, obviously oh, Malia really? did her thing. Yeah. But you know the real reason why he's helping her. Yeah, because he fell in love with Scott. <laughs> No. I know, but he kind of did though. Here's what happened. Here's what happened. He just realized that she loved no, him. No, that's not what happened. 
love is contagious. Let me tell you what happened. When he put his hands there yeah. and basically saw what she saw, he also felt what she felt. Yeah. So basically he felt what she feels for him. For which Scott. Is for Scott. And when he said, don't fall in love with a dead man, and she said, it's too, too late. Because she's already in love. The point is, yeah, so when he, when he felt her his, feelings... He's realized that his daughter loves Scott, and he, then he's like, okay, I gotta, I gotta help her. No, I honestly think it's beyond... Because he doesn't really care. He doesn't really he think that way. He cares about Malia. Yeah. No, he does care about I, Malia. I, I'm not saying that he doesn't care about Malia. I'm just saying that... Well, he wouldn't want her to be by sad. By feeling her love for him, he basically now shares part of that sort of like emotion. I'm not sure that's what it is. Look, comment below, let us know what you think. I is think he, he just being a good dad? Which he, or, which he has done before, that's really been or, established. That's been or, established. <laughs> is it my more plausible, awesome theory that no, he's basically feeling her No, if anything has been established is that Peter will help Malia always. Anyways, comment below, let us know. Hashtag Team America's Right, hashtag Team Sandrine Who's Wrong. And so that leads us to kind of like the resolution of the episode where Scott and Malia are like, all right, last resort, let's go to that pack of wolves. Who are people. dead. Who, yeah, are dead. And, but it doesn't end there because they're dead with the, you know, the eyes taken out, mouth kind of weird, which there are three bodies at school that are dead in a similar way. Mm -hmm. And then Lydia just pops out out of nowhere, as she does. And she's like, yeah, Helwyn. Yeah. The dead Helhound. Dead Ed Helhound, let me hear. Because Helwyn was like, well, I'm dead, but I still want that double face guy to go back to where, where he, he was. was. Yep. So here I'm going to help you find the second half of him, which is a werewolf. Yep. So either it's. Um, a werewolf that we don't know yet, but mm -hmm. it has to be someone we know, right? Yeah. So, do you have any theories as to who it is? I do. Okay. Let's I... see, it has to be someone we know, right? Yes. So, how many werewolves do we know, right? Oh, no, no, no. It's not a werewolf that we know. It's okay. someone that we know who happens to be a werewolf. Okay. Ah, interesting. But it, okay. So, who do you think that we know who would also be a werewolf, potentially? Like, we don't know they're a werewolf, yeah. but they could be a werewolf? Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't know, I was thinking werewolf, but, you know, so... Alright, here's what I'm thinking. Uh, for me, obviously, it's going to boil down to just a few people that have been throughout the episode. I'm going to eliminate the bully right off the bat, mm -hmm. right? I don't think that's him. No, because he had cuts and he yeah, didn't Yeah, 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 he didn't heal. So, uh, I know that Nolan has proven that he can yeah. heal, right? He so, cannot heal. He, 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 can, he cannot heal, yeah. right? So for me, it has to be an adult, Oh. not a teen. Okay, well, that's not as exciting. Okay, but let's see. It who, depends who, who, who I'm going to tell you it is. Who do we know? We know that it could be Liam's a werewolf, mm -hmm. Scott's a werewolf, mm -hmm. Molly's a working out coyote, it's so not it's not someone, her. It's not someone we know. Theo is sort of a mix, but not really. Yep. Um... So, if you go into adults, then it would be the sheriff? Yeah, possibly. It could be Melissa? No, she got hurt. That's true. So? So, it, Mason already wore the beast and he got hurt? Yeah. Who else? Who's an adult? Gerard? No. Oh. It's going to be shocking. Coach. Oh, yeah, I see what you're saying. It's Coach. It's Coach, huh? It's Coach. Coach? That, that would make sense. Coach, that's, it's Coach. I'm sorry. Because it has to be the other side that's beautiful, and I think it's going to be the good side. And Coach has did the oh, best. Oh yeah, you're right. Like there's the evil, and then there's yeah, the good, yeah, right? yeah. And I think Coach, Coach was the only one who did the the, like, uh, the, did the, the right, right thing, thing when right. everyone was was afraid. And I think it's Coach. So oh, guys, comment below. Let me know what you think of my amazing theory. Hashtag America's Right. Let, let's let's get that trending. Yeah. I mean, it would be kind of cool, actually. Yeah, I think it would be kind of cool. See, see. Although, yeah, how do we establish? How, how, but, how but you know what? did Coach become a werewolf? I don't know. But look, yeah. but look, here's the thing, guys. If you think I'm wrong, please share your theories. You're entitled to your wrong opinion. Let yeah. us know what they are, and I uh, will be happy to uh, yeah. disregard every single one of them because <laughs> no. hashtag America's right. God. Uh, of course, we'd love to hear what you thought of this episode. Let us know in the comments. I thought it went by really quickly. Yeah, so. it was a great yeah. episode. I really loved it. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of our upcoming 
morning Teen Wolf reviews. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. I have I have something that I wanted to do. Okay. All right. Uh, fuck Mary Kill. Nolan. Okay. Monroe. Monroe. Oh, oh yeah. Tamora. Tamora. Gerard. Go. Okay. Kill Gerard. Kill Gerard. F Tamora and Mary Nolan. Mary Nolan. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I don't. I, I. don't think I could deal with a lifetime of either Gerard or Tamora. <laughs> and Nolan is just a misguided kid, you know. Oh, God. What would it be for you? We'll never know.